Mountains in Massachusetts, and I'm um, at Norman Rockwell Studio. I was invited to come here and draw. This is the outside of the studio. It was uh, refurbished in the late 50s, I think. I'm not an expert. But um, I have an exhibit here. I'll turn this around and say hello. Oh, close up. Um, I have an exhibit here uh, of my work, and that's why they invited me to come spend some time in his studio and live draw here and broadcast um, from his studio. It's it's a great honor for me. Hi, how is everybody? I see it's got poor connectivity, but maybe you, hopefully you can, you can hear me. Um, it's Liza Donnelly. I'm at Norman Rockwell Studio in the Berkshires in Massachusetts, beautiful part of the world. So let's go inside. I'll turn this around. <clears throat> There's some members of the museum are here working on um, they're working on um, doing a, another live broadcast with me at, at uh, five o'clock to six thirty with Zoom and um, Instagram. But this is Norman's studio, Mr. Rockwell's studio. This is where he would sit and paint. Um, that's a, a reproduction of one of his famous paintings um, that you may be familiar with. Hello, Mark from LA. Hi, Pablo from LA. So I'll just take you a little tour for a few minutes. This is, uh, there's some videos online if you want to go to Norman Rocco Museum and um, their webpage and you can see some of these videos about his, uh, his life and about his work and, and uh, you can see him talking about his studio. And uh, it's really quite an honor to be here and to be um, in his studio. And in a minute, I'm gonna do some drawing for you of his of his uh, of his little station here. It's quite quite simple. He's uh, he, apparently he's a very neat person, and he, um, he I've seen all the I've seen a lot of videos of him. And it's it's usually this setup with a chair and a and a palette and uh, and his brushes or his brushes. And a thing that he hold to hold his arm up while he's painting, hold his, hold his arm steady. Um, hi, Chris. How are you? Thanks, Mark. It is a thrill to be here, Bill. Thanks for saying that. I'm I'm thrilled. Now, of course, I was aware of Norman Rockwell growing up as a as a kid. Uh, I grew up in Washington D.C. and of course he was he's iconic. He still is. He's everybody knows Norman Rockwell's work. Um, covers of the posts. The Post, Washington, the Saturday Evening Post, not the Washington Post, um, and um, there's many things about his work. I'm putting this into a holder now, so I can draw and talk at the same time. So excuse me for going sideways. Um, get my iPad. <clears throat> so his covers were. He worked for the Saturday Evening Post for many, many years. And uh, starting, I don't remember when, I'm not an expert on Mark Well, but I've read a lot about him in recent months. Um, let's see if I can turn this around. You can see my iPad. Oh, that's not right. Um, he, his covers for the Saving Post, turn this a little bit, were. Um, he would he would call them illustrations, and and they were a lot of the things um, he did were for inside the magazine. But the covers, I'm from what I understand, were mostly his ideas, and he often tried to think of things. I'm having trouble with my device. Sorry, guys. Um, <clears throat> were were ideas of his own. So he. Um, <clears throat> It's going to be really hard to draw this. I feel I'm nervous. <laughs> Come on, let's see if it will work. And many of his covers had humor, but he also liked to do covers that were um, that had meaning or had depth to them. There, it's working. Or uh, some pathos is the word he used. And something I read of his recently. Can you see what I'm drawing? Uh, this is not a. I'm not Norman Rockwell, so this this is this is a cartoon of, of Norman Rockwell's chair, which is beautiful chair. They wouldn't let me sit in the chair. 
which I, I, I get it. I'm, <laughs> it's an archival um, a piece of history. Uh, but he did, uh, like I said, he did many covers for the Saturday Evening Post for years, iconic drawings of, of Americana, slices of life with humor, with poignancy. Um, I'm sure you guys know his work. If you don't, look him up. And then in the starting in the early 60s, he did more work. He did work for um, uh, Look magazine. And they were, uh, I'm just going to do this quickly. It's not quite right, but I, uh, um, and they were pieces about social justice, about civil rights, um, and, and things that he that he found were important to him. He liked to draw uh, about everyday people. He used models that he knew people he used, he used models that he didn't know that he paid for when he was younger and then and then when he was older he would use models from from town from where he lived people that he knew from from uh, around town which i think is great but um it's it's kind of amazing to be here i can't believe i'm here drawing in no one rockwell studio so you guys still there good to see who's speaking hi christopher says Fab, thanks. Pablo says, such an awesome experience you're sharing with us. It is. Thank you, Pablo, for saying that. Hi, Brett from LA. Hi, Jack. Jack says, loved his Stockbridge Main Street at Christmas. Yeah, that's quite a beautiful painting. It's, it's uh, here in the museum. I saw it the other day. It's it's very long and thin. But you really should look up his all of his work, guys. And um, it's, I connect with it because he's, you know, I draw about I draw cartoons about everyday people, about life, about things that we all share as human beings. And, and, and in many ways that he did this something similar, <laughs> not comparing myself to Rockwell, but um, what I've read about him, our sensibilities were not dissimilar, let's put it that way. And I'm, I'm honored to be here. And behind me, they're being very quiet right now, <laughs> are some of the folks that work at the museum um, doing all kinds of jobs. And Stephanie Plunkett is the curator, the chief curator, and uh, she knows so much about Ron Rockwell. And we're going to have a conversation on Zoom shortly um, uh, where she's going to tell me things about Rockwell. And, and I'm going to ask her questions. She's going to ask me questions. And I've worked with her over the past four months or so whoops um uh mounting my exhibit which is wonderful you can see a lot of the exhibit online sorry i haven't really mastered this device yet because it's uh it's in my way so i can't really see what i'm drawing this is a beautiful high window you saw it a minute ago i'm not even going to attempt to put uh, anything there um, I'm not going to put any color in right now. I think I'll stop there. Take this out of the device. So, um, hi, Kate from Dublin. How are you? You're uh, you're awestruck? Well, I'm awestruck. <laughs> um, Steve says, hallowed ground. Yes, it is. Uh, the <laughs> Steve says, um, the curators are here to make sure I don't sit in the chair. <laughs> I think that's true. No, they're here because we're going to actually, we're going to do another uh, another event if you want to join us on uh, on Instagram and on Zoom. So, And I think it's also going to be on YouTube, but you can uh, join us and ask questions if you like. Bill Graff, your technique seems so seamless. You make it look so easy. Well, thank you. I'll post this drawing later. Um, but I just want to, since I'm here, I want to show you more of his studio. Um, these are some of his, apparently some of his things that he liked to have around him. Um, a painting by a, a relative of his, a bird painting. Um, I think that was something done by his 
one of his wives. He was married three times. Um, he has three, ch three or four children. I forget. Three, three children. Um, but I love with the princess phone. Makes you realize when this is from. Apparently, he liked to listen to, to opera when he worked or have his wife read to him. He liked to have a Coke every day. And when, when locals would come to visit him, he'd offer them a Coke. This is what I heard about. And these are, these are his oil paints. I love it. Artifacts, notes. And he would, uh, he would answer every piece of fan mail. He got a lot of fan mail. Apparently, he'd answer everything. I guess he would do a lot of his matting and mounting here. Um, who else is there? Kate says, I'd love to be there. Well, come on over to the States and get a tour. <laughs> it's a beautiful space. I don't know what this old printing press is, but it's gorgeous. I'll have to get the story on that. Stephanie will tell me later. Look at that. Hola, Alejandro, how are you? So this uh, this was um, this is Norman Rockwell Studio, and this is Liza Donnelly. I'm a cartoonist and a writer for the New Yorker, the New York Times, and and Haps News and other places. And um, I'm in the Berkshires at Norman Rockwell Studio. I was invited to come here and and uh, be in his studio and draw in his studio, and it's 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 a thrill to be here. Oh, one more thing. There's his pipe. He's a pipe smoker. It's just one pipe that I was just told is on loan to the museum. And look at these things. What is this? I love it. Paint. Makes me want to redesign my studio. Hi, Laura Lee. Good to see you. Laura Lee is a friend from college. I know. Isn't it, isn't it amazing to be here? So um, I think I'm going to wrap this up some of his books, more artifacts. Anyway, Rockwell was um, a great chronicle, chronicler of American life and, uh, and uh, if you don't know his work, go read about him. All right, I'll turn this back around and say goodbye. This is not a pipe. Oh, very funny, Bill. <laughs> it is a pipe. <laughs> Kate says, ha, if only. I used to go back to, and forth to New York City all the time, but not since COVID. Oh, really? Yeah, well, you'll get back here. I'm sure you will. So thanks for being here, guys. It's a, it's a, I'm, I'm happy to share this with you. Norman Rockwell Studio in the Berkshires in Massachusetts. Um, beautiful countryside. And um, thanks for joining me. I will see you again tomorrow. Not here, back in my studio, probably. I think, although I'm going to New York tomorrow, so maybe I'll see you in New York. Okay, guys, take care. Wear your